and thinking, what's the most important thing you can do in the next 10 days to improve your speaking? And for this, Malcolm Gladwell wrote a book three years ago, Outliers, Los Que Sobresalen. What does it take to achieve world class? What does it take to be truly excellent as a musician, as a sportsman, as a speaker? And he looked at multiple different cases. Is it talent? Do Irish people just have this innate knack that they can be great public speakers? And people from Chile will never get there. The answer is no. So what is it that leads to excellence in programming? And the answer, 10,000 hours of practice. No matter where you start from, no matter how talented a kid was in school, it's the kid that practices eight hours a day that's now playing as a soloist with the top orchestras of the world. Leo Messi wasn't born with better right knee and a better left foot than anyone else in the world. It's what he chose to do every day after school, every weekend, that means he is where he is today. So the most important commitment you can make to yourself, you can listen to all of this, and if you don't do this, it's a waste. So as you're considering that 6,000 euros that you've mentally paid, and you're thinking, how do I get a return on investment? Every laptop comes with a webcam. I want each of you to decide that you're going to spend three minutes every day for the next 10 days. You can call them work days, so you don't have to do it at the weekend. But three minutes every day, start a little program that records and explain the product, explain your CV, explain your vision, explain what a good life. One speech that I get my students in ESA to do towards the end is a value you would share with a child as the basis of a good life. So day 10, that's your challenge. Three minutes, your answer to what value would you share with a child as the basis for a good life. So nothing I can do here is going to turn you into a great speaker. No amount of watching YouTube videos of Bill Clinton is going to turn you into Bill Clinton. No amount of reading is going to turn you into a writer. It's only by speaking that you turn into a speaker. But there's people who are 55 years old. They've been in more than 10,000 hours worth of meetings. And they're crap at meetings. The 23-year-old who started yesterday is better at making meetings run effectively. So it's not just about 10,000 hours. It's about deciding it's important, deciding you can get better. And the video allows you the feedback that you can watch and see. Now here there was a, a pottery class in the United States, oh, ceramics, making pots. And the teacher took half of the class and she said, at the end of this term, your grade will be given on the weight of pots that you create. So here is a weighing scales. At the end of the class, whoever's total production of pots weighs the most will get the highest grade. To the other half of the class, she said, you'll be evaluated on your most finished piece of pottery. The group that were told sheer weight. What was their way of carrying on? Every day they produced five, six, seven pots. They tried random experiments. They tried weird things. They tried different ideas. But their hands were on clay from the first moment. The group that were told they would be evaluated on the most finished pot, they read, they thought, they talked about concepts. They talked about philosophical ideas. They read more. They went to galleries to look at other people's pots. And the first time they touched clay was about three days before the end of the class. All of the best pots were made by the group that focused on weight. So 
your way of being in the pottery group that was measured on weight is get the webcam going every day. If you do it for 10 days, you'll get a lot better. If you keep it going, three minutes doesn't get you very quickly to 10,000 hours. 10,000 hours, eight hours a day is five years. Four hours a day, 10 years. Two hours a day, 20 years. But we're all gonna still be alive 20 years from now. Even 30 years from now. Imagine if you set a target of really practicing, trying, trial. And they say, the greatest musicians, when you listen to them practice, it's horrible. When I play piano, I play the pieces I know. The greatest musicians, when they're practicing, are trying things they don't already know. They're trying experiments, they're trying random things. So with the webcam, don't just give your perfect speech, try random things. Because no one else has to see it, you can delete it rather quickly. But just be careful no one gets to your PC while you've got all the silly ones left on the desktop. So the first answer is, this is a waste of time if you don't decide to dedicate three minutes for the next 10 days to put into practice, to experiment with some of the ideas.